A gas exerts a pressure. A pressure on the walls of a container. Why is that? Let's take a look at an example. And a gas is made up of lots of high-speed particles, atoms, molecules, zooming around in straight lines until they hit a wall, let's say, the wall of the container. So the first key word that we need to make a note of is that the particles collide. What would happen if somebody threw a heavy ball at you and it collided with you? Well, you would feel a force. So the force is a, uh, experienced by the wall as that collision happens. as the particle bounces back off. So the collision creates a force on the wall and that force, well there is actually an area of all of these collisions happening and there are thousands and millions of collisions happening every second. In fact on you right now the air is colliding with you trillion times a second and all of those collisions average out to create a, a force over an area and a force acting over an area so a force acting over an area creates a pressure so collision force pressure so what would happen if you added some more heat energy to this gas when you add more thermal energy you increase the kinetic energy of the particles they move faster and if they move faster then they're going to collide harder with more force and also they'll collide more frequently because they're bouncing backwards and forwards more and so as you increase the temperature which is adding thermal energy you increase the temperature then you will increase the force because of more collisions and harder collisions and that will mean that you're creating a bigger pressure acting on the walls of the container so your pressure will also increase and we know that for example in a pressure cooker where if you heat up the pressure cooker which is sealed in a fixed volume then the gas particles in this case water vapor will hit the hit the container walls faster more frequently and with greater force and that will create a higher pressure. So let's fill the flashcard in. A gas exerts a pressure on the walls of a container. This is due to the particles colliding oops, colliding with the container walls. If the volume of a gas is kept constant, now we would keep it constant to avoid other effects happening here uh, and it also means that the the particles um, will have the same space in which to travel if we keep that volume constant then increasing its temperature we're adding more kinetic energy to the particles they collide with faster uh, with more force and therefore it will also increase the gases pressure good some key words there for you to remember. Hope that makes sense. See you in the next flashcard.